Hi, I'm going to read the book, The Three Little Pigs, by Paul Galden. Once upon a time, there was an old sow with three little pigs. She had no money to keep them, so she sent them off to seek their fortune. See how she looks so sad that she had to send them off because she doesn't have money? The first little pig met a man with a bunch of straw and said to him, Please, man, give me that straw to build me a house. So the man did. And the little pig built his home with it. Along came a wolf. He knocked at the door and said, Little pig, little pig, let me come in. No, no, said the little pig, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. So the wolf huffed and he puffed and he blew the house in and he ate up the first little pig. The second little pig met a man with a bundle of sticks and said, please man, give me those sticks to build me a house. So the man did, and the little pig built his house with them. Then along came the wolf and said, Little pig, little pig, let me come in. No, no. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in, said the wolf. Oh, I wonder if he's going to do it. Oh no. So he huffed and he puffed and he huffed and he puffed and at last he blew that house in. And he ate up the second little pig. My goodness, that mean wolf. What did the third pig find? The third little pig met a man with a load of bricks and said, please man, give me those bricks to build me a house. So the, little, so the man did and a little pig built his house with them. Soon the same wolf came by and said, little pig, little pig, let me come in. No, no, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in said the wolf. Do you think he's going to be able to blow this house in? Let's see. Well, he huffed. <gasps> and he puffed. And he huffed. And he puffed. And he huffed. And he puffed. But he cannot blow the house in. At last, the wolf stopped. He stopped huffing and puffing and said, little pig, I know where there is a nice field of turnips. Where, said the little pig. On Mr. Smith's farm, said the wolf. I will come for you tomorrow morning. We will go together and get some turnips for dinner. Very well, said the little pig. 
What time will you come? Oh, uh, about six o'clock, said the wolf. Well, the little pig got up at five. He went to Mr. Smith's farm and got the turnips before the wolf came to his house. Little pig, are you ready? Asked the wolf. The little pig said, ready? I have been and come back again. And I got a nice pot full of turnips for my dinner. Oh man, that this pig is so smart, he tricked that wolf. The wolf was very angry, but then he thought of another way to get the little pig. So he said, little pig, I know where there is a nice apple tree. <gasps> Where, said the pig, down at Merry Garden, replied the wolf. I will come for you at five o'clock tomorrow morning, and we will get some apples. I wonder if the pig is going to go by himself again. Let's find out. Well, the little pig got up the next morning at four o'clock and went off for the apples. He wanted to get back home before the wolf came but it was a long way to Merry Garden. And then he had to climb the tree. Just as he was climbing back down with his basket full of apples, he saw the wolf coming. Little pig, the wolf said, you got here before me. Are the apples nice? Oh no. Yes. Very, said the little pig. I will throw one down to you. And he threw the apple as far as he could throw. While the wolf ran to pick it up, the little pig jumped down and ran home. He tricked that wolf again. The next day, the wolf came back again and said to the little pig, Little pig, there is, there is a fair of Shanklins this afternoon. Would you like to go? Oh, yes, said the little pig. When will you come to get me? At three, said the wolf. Well, the little pig went off at two o'clock and bought a butter churn and bought a butter churn at the fair. He was going home with it when he saw the wolf coming. The little pig jumped into the butter churn to hide. The churn fell over and rolled down the hill with the little pig in it. This frightened the wolf so much that he turned around and ran home. He keeps t tricking that wolf and he's staying safe. Later, the wolf went to the little pig's house and told him what had happened. A great round thing came rolling down the hill right at me, the wolf said. I frightened you then, said the little pig. When I saw you, I got into, into it and rolled down the hill. The wolf was very angry indeed. I'm going to climb down your chimney and eat you up, he said. When the little pig heard the wolf on the roof, what do you think he did? Let's think. He hung up a pot full of water in the fireplace. Then he built a blazing fire. Just as the wolf was coming down the chimney, the little pig took the cover off the pot and in fell the wolf. The little pig quickly put on the cover again, boiled up the wolf and ate him for supper. And the little pig lived happily ever after. Awesome job.